Hello, Joe Brady again, and we've been going over the healing sounds from traditional Chinese medicine and from Tai Chi and the medical Qigong. And what I'd like to go is continue with that today and work on particularly the healing sound for the lungs, which is an S sound. And again, last time we talked about these sounds all vibrate around eight cycles per second. Uh, and so we'll, we'll do a little bit more of the singing bowl in a minute. But the S sound, in order to make an S sound, You've got to put your tongue against the roof of your mouth and make a very small opening and do what respiratory therapists call pursed lips breathing as you let the air out forcibly. Uh, and what it does is allow you to make a long, slow, continuous exhale, which the Chinese could attribute that to the healing sound for the lungs because well, it does help to prevent the common cold. <laughs> I know that's a big claim, but it does. When you're sick and ill, why does your body make you cough and sneeze? Well, it's trying to get the germs out. And in the West, we have a tendency to wait until we're coughing and sneezing our heads off and then take some cough medicine to kill the cough because we consider the cough the disease. No, the germ in your air passages is the disease that your body's trying to get rid of. Chinese nuts don't believe in waiting until that cold is so bad that you're coughing and sneezing. And so in like autumn, when the cold and flu season had around in Beijing, if you go to the park and go to somebody doing Tai Chi and go real close and listen to them, you'll hear them making an S sound. And stretching the exhale out as long as they can. So let's play with that a little bit. And once we get it down, I'll, I'll explain more about it. But if you take and breathe in like we did last time, face the palms up. You can use the Hun sound to help follow the breath in again. And then as you exhale, use the S sound. S try to stretch out the exhale as long as you can. Relax completely. Let that last little bit out at the end. Breathe in as you bring the hands up. Use an S sound. Now, just to make it that little bit more interesting, the healing sounds help to transform negative emotions into their positive counterpart. And uh, I know that sounds a little weird in English, but with the qi, the word qi is present in like 400 different words in the Chinese language. So there's the qi of anger, and there's a qi of sadness, and there's a qi of grief, and there's a qi of fear. And Chinese notice that when people are under emotions, their breathing pattern changes. So when somebody is angry, for example, they tend to breathe real fast. Kind of like Yosemite Sam, angry at Bugs Bunny. When somebody is sad, they tend to make a long sighing exhale. And the idea was to learn how to regulate the emotions and transform the emotion into its positive counterpart. And so the emotion associated with the lungs is grief. And you can hear where the Chinese got the idea of this when you listen to somebody that's sobbing heavily. <laughs> and you can hear the difficulty that they have breathing and catching their breath as they're sobbing. And so if you start with kind of the negative emotion and the grief and what it does to the breathing pattern, change the breathing pattern and do some qi breathing, use the S sound, it transforms the emotion into its positive counterpart. And the positive counterpart for grief is courage. The courage to go on. One time many years ago, I was doing a talk at a local hospital on these uh, healing sounds. And afterward, people can come up and talk to you and had the woman come up and a group of people around. She asked, she said that uh, no one would understand the relationship between grief and courage unless you've been through the kind of grief I have. And she went on to tell the group the story about how her daughter had died horribly of breast cancer and that her son had committed suicide because her sister had died so horribly. And she explained to the group that unless you've been through that kind of grief, you wouldn't understand how much courage it takes to haul myself out of bed each morning, 
and be there for my other children. And the S sound, the healing sound for the lungs, helps to make that transition from grief into feelings of courage and the courage to get on with life. And so play with that again. Breathe in as you bring your hands up. And relax completely. Take that extra sip. Turn the hands over. Use the S sound. And as a meditation, if you're going through a period of grief, and right now with COVID raging around us, a lot of us know people that have been severely hit by this. And so there's some grief in there. And what you do is meditate on trying to take those feelings of grief and transform them into feelings of courage. The courage to get on with it and move on, pick yourself up and move on. A couple more. Breathe in as you bring the palms up. Again, that fourfold breath at the top of the breath. Relax completely. Take an extra sip. Use the S sound. Now, if you want, a good practice is to take and begin the meditation if you have one of these. And like a tuning fork, use it to tune that S sound. And it helps to distract the mind off of the problems it's been thinking about and focus on the here and now. Present centered mindfulness, as they say. Do a couple more of those. Breathe in as many arms up. Now, we've talked about in the past with the chi breathing, the idea eventually is to slow down the breathing as much as you can. In this case, um, use the S sound to help slow down, particularly the exhale. The longer you hold the exhale, the further up out of your respiratory system your body can work to get rid of dust and pollen and anthrax spores and germs and whatever that gets into your lungs. As you exhale, it's like coughing slowly or controlled. It helps to work all anything that might have gotten down into your lungs up out of the air passages. And so the longer and slower you can hold the exhale, the better. And also when you go to the pulmonologist and you got to take a spirometry test, in addition to the quick exhale they want you to do, they want you to hold the exhale as long as you can to measure your lung capacity. So practice that. As you're practicing your S sound, practice extending the exhale out as long as you can. And especially at the end of the breath, relax completely. Let that last little bit out. And that way, when the pulmonologist does check your vital capacity, they get an accurate reading of how good your lungs really are, rather than what anxiety of taking the stupid test does in tensing you up and making you do worse on the test. Um, it really does work better if you relax into it. Anyway, that's enough for today, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.